Hey guys, it's John here, and welcome back to my channel where I explore the microcosmos of sea monkeys and other instant pets. This is a sea monkey ocean volcano tank that I started about a month ago, and you can see that so far the tank is doing really well. There's a bunch of adult sea monkeys in there, and a whole lot of second generation babies of varying sizes, so I thought it'd be cool to take a closer look at them under the microscope for today's video. Sea monkeys are a species of vernal pool crustaceans of the order Anostraca. They have a few different names which you might know them by though, brine trump probably being the most common. They're often hatched from their eggs in large quantities, and then fed to aquarium fish as a live food source, but I prefer to keep them as pets, because I enjoy the challenge that comes with trying to grow them to adulthood, and sustain a colony long term. They're really beautiful just to watch swimming around in their tank too. Because sea monkeys are almost entirely transparent animals, the gut running the length of their bodies will turn the colour of whatever food they've been eating. My adult sea monkeys have been feeding on a few different food sources, both the live green algae growing in their tank, and also the different dried algae powders that I feed them, so their colour varies depending on what's currently in their system. The younger babies mostly eat astaxanthin. It's a red compound found in some algae species, and it dissolves really well in the water, which makes it easier for the smaller sea monkeys to access and eat. It turns them an orangey red, which I think looks really cool. The videos you've been looking at here are all shot with a 10x optical zoom macro lens, and that's because sea monkeys are very small animals, the largest adults here being no more than 1.5cm or half an inch in length. And the tiny babies are only a fraction of that, at around 1mm long. Despite their small size, their bodies are beautifully detailed, but it's hard to really appreciate how cool they look when just watching them swimming in the tank, or even with this macro lens for that matter. So let's take them over to the microscope, where we can have a look at them in slow motion, and really get an appreciation for the fine details of their anatomy. We'll start off by looking at the smallest baby, and then go gradually larger from there. The bodies of sea monkeys change a lot in their first few weeks of life, so you'll see quite drastic development in their morphology as they grow. This is a newly born baby. They're exceptionally small at this stage, and are quite hard to see. The orange colour you see in its body is a yolk-like substance in the sea monkey's gut. Because they don't feed for their first few days of life, this orange yolk will sustain them until they can start eating food from their environment. And that red dot in the middle of its head is its median eye. This is the only one they're born with, but make sure to watch it closely, as they'll soon start developing a set of compound eyes on the sides of their head too. It only takes around 8 hours before they shed their exoskeleton for the first time, and morph into the second nauplia stage. Here you can see the body has already begun to grow longer, and the antennae that they use for swimming have got a lot bigger too. At this next phase, the body has got considerably larger and longer. Have a look closely at those ridges that have begun forming along its thorax. That's the beginning of their leg development, which are called thoracopods. At around one week old, this thoracopod development is now almost complete. They have 11 pairs of these legs, and they're now the primary appendages used for swimming. This one decided to do a poop while I was videoing it. Here we are now at the teenage stage. Their legs are fully formed, and they resemble a smaller version of the adults. From here the development of males and females diverge as they begin to undergo sexual differentiation. Adult females become very long, in fact they're the larger of the two sexes. The antennae on their head remain small though, and simply have a sensorial function. This is quite different to the adult male, whose body doesn't get quite as long, but are easily distinguishable by the enlarged frontal antennae, which have now developed into a pair of claspers that are used to hold onto the female while mating. And this is what mating looks like under the microscope. The reason why the male still isn't releasing the female, despite me removing them from the tank and putting them onto a microscope slide, is because mating isn't a fast interaction between sea monkeys. In fact, it usually goes on for at least a few hours, but can often last as long as three days. Once he's got a good hold, he really doesn't want to let go. Now that the female is sexually mature, she'll become pregnant with eggs. Pregnancy can occur through sexual reproduction with a male like we just saw, but astonishingly, she's also capable of something called parthenogenesis. It's a natural form of asexual reproduction, where the embryo develops in the mother despite her eggs being unfertilized by a male. It allows the continuation of the species, even if no sexually mature males are present. From here the female will give birth to live young if environmental conditions are favorable, but if they're not, she'll lay eggs with a thick brown corian coating that will need to be dehydrated and then put back into water again for them to hatch. Then the cycle continues again, as it has done for over 5 million years. It's pretty cool, huh? All this beautiful science wrapped up into one tiny tank on my windowsill. Thanks for coming on this journey with me into the microcosmos of sea monkeys. If you're interested in getting a sea monkey kit of your own, I've included an Amazon affiliate link in the description of this video, with a bunch of tank options, as well as some additional accessories that will help your little sea monkey colony thrive. Make sure you check out my other videos too, if you're interested in getting some tips on how to keep your sea monkeys alive. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing to my channel. I'll be posting new content like this every week, so keep a lookout for that, and I'll see you on the next one.